That's right. Hey, we will beat. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I made there. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? around here. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hmm. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the Gold Dust Cats, right? I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. Hm. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Miguel could have told us if it's actually true. Pesky airborne off. scoundrel. This is it sounds like a job for you yours truly. Rising uh, Falcon! Radiant Make it rain! Rising Falcon! Oh, Astral energy! Say no more! Take it! My turn! Got I'm going! Strike. Enough! Rising Strike! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. An opponent like this should be easy. No! Be still!
This should be easy. There. It's there. over. I'm gone. We're going in. in. It's the instant It's a duel of the arms. Tiger blade. Blood. This one's mine. Got mob. fire. I've got it. Let a mark in this Here it goes. All yours. On the right direction. The enemy Not wields arts one. too. You'll soon see gone. about that. Here I come. I'm not done! Like Dragon Swarm! Do it! Thunderblade! I'm ready for the next battle! Aren't you... your pals, Hoodle? I'll do my best! Double Stay. demon fight! One more! Piercing roar! Shining Crush. supernova! Your mind! It's over! Burn it I never miss! Look sharp! Sleep now! Eternal devastation! I've been killed! Denied! Do it! Rimmer. Astral energy! Say no more! My turn! Seriously! Leave the ensnaring to me. Yeah, and it's probably to me. Barely a blip on our radar. I see plenty of ruins around here, too. Must have been a big town bustling with people back in the day. For crown contest participants, places such as these are but vectors for the astral en-
energy they pursue. Similar to that windmill, for instance. Places where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought? I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more. <laughs> ravaged by time than combat. Even if there are signs of destruction, it would likely have taken place during the Great Conquest of 300 years prior. And ever since. It's been a breeding ground for Zoogles, I guess. Let's dispose of the trap. Big one's mine. It's over. Why can't they just sit still? See up. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Far enough. Look sharp. Raging cascades. Sleep now. I'll be saving this one. You picked the wrong fight. Don't get careless.
And what do you say we check back in on the ranch? Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Yeah, there's no way you can complain about how this tastes. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Sorry for rambling on so much about my past earlier. Don't sweat it. It was fun hearing you reminisce about the good old days. Come on, you don't have to pretend with me. I know I can tend to... Go on sometimes, when it comes to my brother. You said it, not me. Anyway, I don't think it's something for you to be embarrassed about. <clears throat> hey, Alfin. When you were a kid, was there ever a time when... you had to bury someone younger than you? Well, it's hard to say. I'm guessing that you have, though. Yeah. During the previous crown contest, with the Lord before Dohalim. Life back then was... truly hell. <clears throat> I think... that's why I tried to ignore what Miguel was telling me for so long. Because I was afraid of going back to such a dark time. Of losing hope. I wanted to believe in our paradise so much... that I doubted the one person I should have trusted most. I don't blame Lord... blame Dohalim for that. I simply didn't want to face facts. And I ended up trying to project my ideals onto everyone else. It's strange. Whenever you and Dohalim talk about Men and Sia, hmm. it's always like it's some big failure. We're talking about fixing 300 years worth of damage here. Isn't it a bit optimistic to think it was all going to be resolved after only five? You might be right. Maybe it was a mistake when Menencia... No. 
when I decided to stop seeing the darkness in our society. I have to admit the truth. To myself, first of all. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Before we go. Yep. I think. Dead end? No, there's an elevator. Looks operational. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danids. Think they were four. to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Yeah. Are you saying you know how to steer yeah. a ship? Yeah. Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there. You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. He go, he go. He go now. He, oh baby. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. 
In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Till then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. Hmm. I know Mahabar said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check it. Law is okay? If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him, too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us, too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we'd prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahag Sar has people like Deadeim. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well, I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alvin. Thank you, Alvin. Thank you. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But... I guess... I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? No. Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... ...not being able to hold another person's hand. Much further, you'll go overboard. <sighs> Keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship? I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. 
The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia. The lush green glades of Menencia. <coughs> the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death. And Nia's its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Even one in fire. So we actually managed there. to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If men and Sia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet, they didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Shion. Ever since I was on Lenegas, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well... It won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? Then you can... Uh... <laughs> Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. <sighs> you're right, though. It'll all be over soon. Oh, I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah. We are. Yeah, we are. I'm going to Floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? 
I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadeim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us. But nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be, either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in? It's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadeim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadeim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> Not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Ooh, I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. 
So then why would Armadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the Crown Contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? No. Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. Maybe. In that respect, at least. Maybe. I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead I'm did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. Took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks, I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently if there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think... How would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. I wonder how much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Onadria. I'll ask Mahabar.
Look who's up. Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. That's the ship? She's huge. Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. Long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. Ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Hungry already, my dear. Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Mm, no. Nope. Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. Well, are you okay? 
You're not too tired, are you? Nope. I'm fine. Let's keep moving. Let me have it! Tiger Blade! Here, let me have it! 
an authentication key. They're quite common. Maybe where you're from, but this is new to me. It might go in an elevator somewhere. We should test it out. Have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but frankly, they're starting to stink. Huh. Now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And, Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing having it pointed out like this. And Xion? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course, my apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are gonna get a little dirty while we're traveling around. That's no excuse. Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... regimented and cleanly group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards. Just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. 
Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? With this, I can become even stronger! to heal your wounds.
to assume these Just like this back in Estaluva Forest. It looks and smells like some kind of medicine. Whatever this place was used for, I doubt it was anything of repute. Does anyone else think this may be just a bit too tough for us? All Madria is near. Then we've got to find a way to get through somehow. Let's see if we can find something that'll release it.
What is that huge flower-looking thing up there? Is that the ship's engine? Indubitably. As one might expect, large ships require large engines in order to sail. And if we destroyed it? We might well sink the ship. Who knows if we would be able to escape before that happens. Uh. Almadria sure has been busy since the contest began. This isn't Almadria's doing. You mean she didn't build this? The body, yes. However, my guess is that the engine comes from a starship. A starship? As in one of those vessels used to go to and from Lenegas? Correct. The technology employed on Lenegas and in starships is more advanced than anything in our daily lives. Almadria may be resourceful, but she could never produce an engine like this on her own. You mean to tell me we've got even bigger enemies waiting for us up in the sky? Ugh, my head hurts just thinking oh. about it. Don't worry about that for now. Just focus on taking care of Almadria. <laughs> Glacial spear! Piercing! Oh, Lightning! Oh, oh. Oh, hey. 
Maybe just a bit too tough for us? That enemy looks strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight it. What's this thing?
Bonito. Ready? 
Resonate with the Earth! She sure spared no expense on her castle. This must be... The captain's quarters. The presence of the spirit vessel and the sheer extravagance on display can leave no doubt. <laughs> There's no one here. Yeah, but I doubt she's out for a moonlight stroll. You think she jumped ship and ran away again? I doubt it. The conniving witch is probably up to something. Agreed. In any case, as long as she hasn't suddenly sprouted wings, she has to be somewhere on the ship. Let's keep looking. Your friends, Hoodle?
They're attacking separately. I can't land a hit on her. Keep an eye on her. And take out the monster first. She's no stranger to astral arts. I can take care of that. Yeah, take it away. Just what the doctor ordered. Resonate with the air. Uh-huh. 
Have fun early, oh my god. You murdered my mother and father. <gasps> but I'm not like you. Written well. Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. So, I won't kill you. I'll take you in and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me with your foolish, useless pity. Ah, value it. Nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to. <sighs> It's not about what you think, or being Danon or Renan, because you'll atone for the crimes you committed, and that's all. Swordsman again. <sighs> oh, Lord Volron, what brings you here? Uh, no, forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please allow me to make it up to you, my lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> Silence now. Wretched sake. Does it hurt? It should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy it. Haros met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name, Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more. Okay, but I'm not gonna fight you. Stop right there! Shiana! Alvin! <laughs> 
come and find me. If you truly are the Sovereign. What? He can feel pain now? My goodness. After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. I can finally go home. I doubt I'll ever see this place again. Oh, I might as well walk the block once more for old time's sake. I cannot. I cannot go to the main. Oh, then. I keep going. No one.
As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. wanted to go back to Dana to my home Alfin Leori Oh
Kevin. Well, he's dead. <gasps> Live for me. No. Aori. Wait, I... I... What was that? I don't know. Why don't you then me? That... How long ago was that? Right, Shion. Combine them. I need to find them. Better start looking. Yeah. <sighs> So <sighs> What do you guys on the um, that was Yeah 